We're back with Power Voting in Paradise TV in downtown Jacksonville for the 10th annual Jacksonville River Rally Poker Run. It's early June, and we're now on the fourth stop of the spring tour with only one event on the FPC calendar that is truly a river run. In fact, with the Ocean Inlet 22 miles down the river to Mayport, most of these poker run boats won't even come close to the ocean waters all weekend long. With activities that include a Friday fun run and a Saturday poker run, and a great home base for the event at the Jacksonville Landing and Metro Park, these factors have contributed to making this one of the biggest annual poker runs in the Sunshine State. With the landmark Main Street Bridge as a backdrop, Friday evening featured a sexy swimwear photo shoot as we got ready for our next big day of boating fun. Saturday morning here in Jacksonville as we get ready to roll on the river. That's the St. John's River. 65 boats registered here for today's poker run. And I'm with Mike and Angie Goldbaugh on the 38-foot Donzi called Late Fees. We're going to run hard today with twin 700 Mercs. It's going to be a fun day. It's already 85 degrees here on the dock, and I would like to turn on the air conditioning. So, Mike, what do you say we fire up and get going? Let's rock on. Let's roll on the river, Jacksonville, 2011. Get used to this sight, you're gonna see a lot of big rooster tails on this run because the river rally draws a lot of big horsepower and there's a tremendous amount of adrenaline at the start of the run as the throttles get pushed forward. Now here's Mark Tuck from Virginia in his 2009 Fountain Lightning 42 powered by Mercury Racing 700 SCIs. Benny D'Angelo is a long way from home, but he's had his cigarette in Florida all winter, and the Jacksonville run was a good stopover weekend as he headed back to Canada. Steve Britton is a local guy who's having all sorts of fun on his 30-foot cigarette, a rare model that cigarette only made very few of. We catch up with the pack as they wander into Whitey's Fish Camp for their first poker card. This is a good chance to get a closer look at the boats and, of course, other types of scenery. And from the cockpit of late fees, the scenery is just fine. Now leaving Whitey's Fish Camp back out towards the river, we're on the throttles as Captain Mike Goldbot is joined by this colorful Sensation F4. There's plenty of fast cats on the Jacksonville Poker Run, like this 39-foot MTI, a former race boat, with twin 1100s belonging to Pete Tafaro from Louisiana. Speaking of former race boats, here's Dan Davies in his full canopy fountain called Global Warmer. With no AC on board, I bet that cockpit is pretty warm right now. This is Brian Stubblefield from Bonita Springs, Florida. His last boat was a Pantera, and now he's in a twin-engine Active Thunder 32. We said there were some fast cats on this run, and here's proof. This is John Woodruff in Winship, a 48-foot MTI powered by Mercury Racing 1350s. This boat is capable of 180 miles plus. Bob Eppel from Indiana loves this run so much, he just keeps coming back in his 39-foot velocity powered by Mercury Racing 700 SCIs. Philip Mann is one of the local Jacksonville guys running this 32-foot Spectra Cat called Cat's Meow. From up in the chopper, this shot illustrates what a fantastic natural course that the St. John's River offers for this poker run. Back with our teams, this is Rick and Dana Day from Alabama in their 36 Nortec Black Gold. We saw them in Biloxi a few weeks earlier running their 42-foot fountain at Smoke in the Sound. This is Robert Gillingham from Naples in his 29 Velocity VR1. It's his second event on the Spring Tour after joining us a month earlier for the Naples Poker Run. Mike Maggio from Illinois moved from a Cougar V-Bottom into this classic 46-foot cigarette Rough Rider powered by triple 700s. We're now arriving at the Outback Crab Shack at Six Mile Creek for a festive poker run checkpoint that will include some great seafood and a dockside performance boat show which stretches along more than 1,500 feet of floating dock. That's right, more than a quarter of a mile long of boats, bikinis, and big horsepower. 
Later that evening, the poker runners gathered at Jacksonville Landing for Carabas food and a country and western party at Mavericks, where they played out the poker cards. And congratulations to Barry and Jennifer Peters, the Poker Run Grand Prize winners. When we return, we'll feature highlights from the 20th annual Sunny Isles Poker Run, so stay tuned.